Welcome to Fireplaces Plus in Clovis, California. The stove that we're standing in front of is made by uh, the company Yotul USA. Uh, they are affiliated with the Norwegian uh, sister company Yotul Norway. Uh, this product here uh, helped keep people warm in the Poland area uh, during the 1940s and is actually the number one selling stove in the United States. And as you come this way here, our whole Yodo product line is right here in the front of the store. So some of their colors are porcelain, uh, majolica brown, uh, green, uh, blue black enamel, uh, and a matte black, and an ivory enamel finish. Uh, they'll have large small and medium sizes. You've introduced in 2013. It's a cast outer body with a steel box, firebox. So it's a hybrid stove now. So they've mixed steel and cast. And they have it in a small, a medium, and in a large. Uh, their large stove in their hybrid system actually has a top feed, which is good because it makes it easier for the customer to load uh, and it also it does not smoke because air gets pulled in from the top and the front and gets pulled through the exhaust, making that a good uh, product to cook on. Because they offer a cooking piece here that lays on the top so you can actually grill food. Now, we also sell pizza ovens, which are made in Italy. Uh, they're imported from Italy. And this piece here that you see is actually... Uh, built in with a 8 inch insulated flue on it. It's The box is 3 feet deep and we do cook on it occasionally. Uh, it's got a great top uh, hearth top here to uh, let the pizzas or a landing to let the pizzas land on. Uh, the color is the terracotta color from Italy. The clay is that original color. Third type of stove, wood burning stove, is a steel line a product. It's 100% steel. We also carry Wittis by Design, which the product is made in Denmark. It's a soapstone finish. Uh, typically, Denmark and European stoves have a taller vertical appearance. Uh, they are not uh, shorter and wider, as you see the uh, products mostly sold in America. They're, they have a completely different look. Uh, Wittis Fire by Design offers about 10 or 15 different products and small, medium, and large. These are Heartland products. They come in a wide range of styles. You have your wood, classic wood, that you can just put wood inside there and it cooks and heats your home. You can go in gas. You could go electric and gas. Or you can go complete electric or complete gas. Everything up here runs the unit. The refrigerators that they make, these are more into your 1960s style, um, brought into a beautiful looking unit. You have your top load on your refrigerator, and you have your bottom load on your freezer. Together they look beautiful. These are very popular up in the foothills because you can burn wood in it and you can heat your home and cook on it. So if electricity goes out, you still have a functioning, working oven and stove to heat your home. Here in the valley, these are really popular with people who are more into the eclectic look. It's a beautiful unit. We're standing now in front of our gas inserts uh, display. As you can see, there's many options and features to choose from. You'll look at uh, a product from Yodel. They offer a cast iron surround. Uh, and then as a, as a company here, we offer manufactured stone, quarry stone installations around the, the product, uh, wood mantles, wood treatments, uh, concrete and precast facing. Uh, we do from a to Z, framing, electrical, uh, plumbing, we can do a turnkey operation for you so it makes it really easy and nice for you. Uh, this product here is a steel surround uh, with a uh, anodized black 
trim is what that is with stainless steel louvers on the bottom and black on the top. So you can go all black if you choose to do so like we've done here. This is a Yodel product and you can see the size of the firebox is bigger so we have products that are small in size, medium and large. Uh, this screen door here opens up so you can get a really true view of the fire. This fire here is burning at a rate of about 88 percent and 40,000 BTUs. This here is a linear firebox made by SCAN owned by Yodel. So Yodel recently has purchased SCAN out of the Norwegian uh, or the Denmark area and that is a linear burner. You can see it's long, uh, it's not multiple at all, it's one single burner. They're typically long inserts and short, not real tall. Uh, you can dress them up with black porcelain panels inside uh, or leave them stainless steel or a, have a reflective mirror. So many options to choose from. As you come down this aisle, you'll see the different rock work that we've done in the store. This is manufactured stone on both of these displays. This is a lead stone that's a river rock stone. Uh, these are all clay brick materials from uh, this stuff here came out of the Denver region. Uh, it's an antique brick. This is a new used brick out of uh, Muddox here in California. It has a wood face around it uh, made here by our local uh, builder out of, from our company. Up above here you'll see an east-west stone that comes out of uh, uh, the Asian area. It's actually real stone that they've cut to fit uh, perfect in panels that are 12 inch long panels and they actually have a corner return on it uh, that's available. This was made by uh, our company. It's a precast concrete piece with a uh, color in it uh, around a Valor gas insert. So the Valor gas inserts uh, 45,000 BTUs. The panel is inside is a rock panel. Uh, that you have a built up and raised hearth. So all these hearths that are raised, we have molds that we can make to any size and cut to fit. This product here is manufactured in our own facility uh, close to us, just right down the street in Clovis. Uh, it's a limestone product. Real stone has been crushed into a powdered form, mixed with cement and other additives, and poured into a mold. Uh, the color is a cream colored finish uh, and it's uh, really a be beautiful, beautiful product. It has probably close to two or three different colors of real limestone that you can achieve and, and purchase. Uh, as we move this way, we have an a, a acid washed finish is what this is called. So you have cement and additives poured into a mold with a tan colored um, coloring mix and a fine sack sand. You can see here the sand is a probably a 30 mesh or 60 mesh uh, and it's actually washed down fine with uh, muriatic acid and that's how you get that real fine look. Here's another example of our uh, products that are made locally just right down the street in our own production facility. Uh, it's a precasted mantle with a lintel, legs with a nice design. Uh, the color is a tan. Uh, there's probably close to 20 different colors to choose from. Uh, and we install all of our own products uh, that we make. The stone is a real stone, lead stone. Color is honey gold. Uh, you see these actual, they're real corners that are made. Uh, to do a corner so you don't have mortar joints showing anymore. They make a true corner. As you walk this way, again, this, we do wood mantles. We build our own mantles. This is cherry wood with a cherry wood finish stain. Uh, the stone is a real stone, lead stone. Uh, the color is a uh, mountain rose. Uh, it's got great colors. Uh, we sell truckloads and truckloads of this material. Now this door is extremely hot, but I'll open it up. You'll want to use a glove uh, 
but the fireplace is an ambience in tree, uh, and it's a 40,000 BTU fireplace that will heat approximately 2,000 square feet. It's got brick panels in it. It has a lighting kit built into it. It has a remote control that controls the flame height. The blower speed is controlled by the remote, and also the heat of the unit is controlled by the remote. Very beautiful fireplace. Okay, we're standing in front of a Valor product. Uh, the name of it is a Windsor Arch. It's the only one in the entire hearth industry that has a look like this right here. Uh, you can add uh, a coal burner to it so it looks like it's burning coal. You can have uh, 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 rocks in there so you can make it more modern. You can have this face all black or you can have the polished highlights like you see it right here. The same company has made a, uh, a, a deal with a, a local mantle and hearth and uh, wood supplier to make this severe art so you can buy this as a kit. So you can just come into the store, order this product just how it is and have it delivered in a box and installed in one day so there's no construction involved. The same with this product here, it's made by Valor. They have a uh, face that looks like concrete but it's actually a different type of material. It's not concrete, it's not cement. Um, so you can buy this as a kit. The, the Ventana fireplace, that's its name can have four or five different uh, back panels in it. They have real rock. They have small modular brick. If you live in the foothills where there's propane or electric only and you're tired of burning firewood, this would be an alternative solution to heat with. And it's wood burning pellets. Uh, we have three units in front of me here that you could use to heat anywhere from 500 square feet up to 2,000 square feet. They'll come in cast iron or steel. Uh, the brand is Harman. They're the number one pellet company in the United States. They make freestanding and inserts. Uh, the two that we're standing in front of here are models that you would slide into an existing fireplace. And we run our own liner, so a liner would get dropped down from the top of the chimney. It would get hooked up to the stove. We would do a top flashing and a cap so stop water and debris from getting down into the motors and the electronic area. Uh, this is a 500 pound cast iron stove. Uh, it produces uh, about 40,000 BTUs of heat and they're actually coming out with one that's a little bit bigger uh, this year. Uh, this unit here is made by Country Flame. Uh, they have been around since the 1970s and they build a good product. They have a, uh, a part in here that's different to everything else. This auger that I'm pointing at actually it spins and it cleans the fuel for you so you don't have to clean the basket. We're standing in front of an uh, inner zone pellet stove called Eurostar. The, the Eurostar pellet stove is the first stove to come out with a circuit board that's detachable and easy to uh, diagnose. It's got porcelain enamel sides, black enamel sides, and it also has stainless steel sides. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful product. It's Fit and finish is second to none. Holds approximately 60 pounds of pellets, so it's got a really big hopper. And the air to fuel ratio on it is, real, is done internally. There's no adjustments by you uh, with levers or anything. Everything is done by the circuit board and by the internal electric system. The stainless steel and the black is the same on this unit here. As you can see the side, that same black is what would be on that unit on the right side of this stove is the same panel that goes on the Eurostar pellet stove. So you get three different looks and it's very classy. We offer a wide selection of freestanding gas stoves. One of our main products uh, we are standing in front of is pronounced Yotul. It's our Norwegian product also made in the United States. It's a cast iron uh, top, cast iron door. Uh, cast iron pedestal. If you walk this way, you'll see a Majolica brown porcelain enamel uh, Yotul, which is our most popular seller. It's got a brick interior firebox. I'll open the doors for you. 
Uh, you want to do that with gloves because it's very hot. They have a log package. Uh, you have different color of embers that you can choose from. We're looking at a, a, a set of gas logs that are by Robert H. Peterson, the 24 inches in length, that are very popular nowadays. Uh, we're going from the traditional wood burning fireplace that emits 50 to 60 grams an hour of emissions into the air to a product that's under one gram, like 0.8 on the emission scale, so it's very environmentally friendly, different sizes, uh, they come with remote controls, which I highly recommend. All you have to do is push a button, the log set comes on. Uh, we go now to a fireplace that is designed for outside. It's a direct vent or ventless free, vent free fireplace, natural gas or propane. Uh, the panels inside can be red brick panels or tan and a herringbone design or just straight horizontal bond uh, panels. All fireplaces for outside are traditionally stainless steel and will withstand the elements that the outdoors uh, offer. As we move this way, we're talking about a uh, barbecue island that has been built by our company. We did all the granite work, all the plastering. We actually built the design of it. Uh, we built it so it can slide through a gate uh, in, on an, uh, in a backyard. It was 30 inches in depth, but it's 8 feet long, so you can get a lot of use out of it. We sell high-end grills. Uh, we sell the best grills that are available in today's market. Uh, they, uh, at a rate from 1 to 10, everything we sell is a 7 and above. As we come here to this unit, we have a lot more to offer on this one. It's a lot bigger. The barbecue is 36 inches in, in size. You see a built-in rotisserie. It has a built-in uh, burner in the back so you can uh, put a rotisserie, a chicken, or uh, maybe a 25-pound hog or a 20-pound turkey. Uh, we offer a double burner here, which was made uh, for high BTU uh, tall pots that uh, burn uh, or cook corn and chili beans and items like that. We offer a double door on this unit here, which also gives you a lot of access underneath. This one here has a propane tank that slides out or a trash uh, holder, so you can use it as either piece. These doors are set up for all the utensils and condiments. Uh, you get two with this particular model. Uh, this finish on this particular island is a is a, a sprayed on stucco that's designed for commercial buildings. Uh, we offer lighting, plugs. Uh, you'll see here uh, that we try to color coordinate the covers with the actual granite work that we do in the plaster work. Refrigerator installed also. In this model, you can get winemakers. Uh, chopping boards, uh, ice makers, uh, barbecues that go up to 54 to 60 inches. Uh, there's infrared grills that are available now. There's grills with porcelain hoods. Uh, the barbecue industry has expanded uh, in the last 10 years and can offer a wide, wide range of products. So we offer refrigerators. The refrigerators need to be outdoor approved. Uh, outdoor fruit refrigerators are designed for outside. They will last uh, in the heat and salt if you're by the ocean in that type of weather where indoor refrigerators will not. As we come to the top of the barbecue island here, you're going to see a 12 inch round or it's a 16 inch round diameter. That This has a burner underneath lava rock with logs on top. So you can have a barbecue going, you can be entertaining, and have a nice fire going at the same time. Our outdoor business uh, has changed over the years. We started making smaller units uh, back in the early 2000s that would fit into backyards, and as time has went on, we've got into more elaborate products uh, with shapes. Uh, you can see the shape right here is not just a, a typical little square uh, extension of a, a barbecue island. It's got some detail to it. It's raised 42 inches from the floor 
to the top of the counter so you can get nice bar stools around it. Uh, we do under counter lighting. Uh, the river rock was hand picked so we chose uh, different colors for different parts of the island so we could match uh, plaster schemes and uh, fascia board schemes and colors of homes a little bit better that way instead of just keeping the rock one color. Uh, as we walk this way over here uh, you'll see some modular products that are ready for a customer to just come pick up and purchase. We like to do the 2x2 two two steel welding in areas where we need more strength. This area here, uh, you're looking at a, a quarter inch concrete board over a, a 18 inch galvanized metal stud for commercial buildings. Here where my hand is, this is 6 inches of an extension so when you put your knees up, uh, your knees don't hit uh, the island itself. Uh, we give you enough space to set a chair, uh, rest your foot, put your knee up. If you look at these islands here, these are our very entry level islands. They are two feet by eight feet and they fit the standard slab. We built our cabinet to match the slab uh, size. And then these slabs come in about probably, I'd say, 20 different colors from all over the this world. This barbecue island here, you could see it's got some nice architectural features. It's got the rounded four foot. Uh, counter at both ends of the island so you could serve eight people a whole family on one barbecue island the back side has a counter that extends uh, six inches in the back so you could have three chairs back there so you could actually have 11 people total if you wanted to serve that many people at one time as we get into the next product here this is a manufactured river rock uh, it's a really nice piece it's this uh, 11 foot long it's got again the four foot round ends both ends are, are four feet the back it's got an extended counter the river rock is from El Dorado River Rock you come to this bigger island here this is some of our really bigger custom work this whole entire island that you're looking at is about 28 feet total in length from end to end you have a 42 inch wide grill you have a sink single side burner you have a ice chest which holds three uh, cases of beverages you have a warming drawer that you'll put supplies in condiment basket this is a double sink and ice uh, feature and get to the fireplace that's a wood burning fireplace so we can burn wood in it or we can actually plumb it for gas and use the same chimney for gas logs. The fireplace over here is a uh, fireplace we always concerned with the height of a fireplace in a backyard. So we try to typically keep them at the eight foot mark. That's two feet above a six foot fence in California, which is kind of critical. Uh, we'll keep them five foot off the boundary lines. Uh, we take the, all the county requirements and try to abide by them always with these products. We call them modular so that way we can actually don't have to pull a permit. If you build a modular product, you're actually able to move it into the, your backyard without a permit. I would like to invite you into our store. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 5.30, Saturday 10 to 4.00. Uh, Sunday will be closed, but we could uh, set an appointment and I'd like to help you out in designing any of the products that we sell and would be uh, happy to help you in any way we can.